Rachel wanted to be an astronomer, but that may not be what's in store for her. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Everyone welcome Maria Mitchell. Hello everyone, how are you? I am so excited to be here. My name is Maria Mitchell. I was born on August 1, 1818. My parents were Quakers. They sufficiently schooled me the same that boys were being educated. At just 12 years old I helped calculate the solar eclipses. In 1835 I opened my own school allowing non-white students to enroll. I worked there for 20 years, while also at night turned to the stars. I would try to uncover any mysteries of space that I could at night. After teaching I started to fully pursue my dreams of being the first woman astronomer. My first discovery was finding the first comet. Called Miss Mitchell Comet. I was recognized by King Frederick IV and became a personal astronomer. I discovered all the parts to a comet, the core or nucleus, the coma, which is what trails the core, and the tail what is following the coma. A comet is basically a massive snowball, orbiting farther than most other astronomical objects. I have heard this has also influenced other woman astronomers who came after me, like Carolyn Herschel, and Anne Margaret. I was accepted into the American Academy of Arts, and the American Association for the Advancement of Science. I was given offices to work in at Vassar College Observatory. There I started working on astronomy with the highest technology and worked as long as I could. I proved, showed and influenced non-white women who wanted to become more, and anyone who had big dreams. I have been told that I definitely deserve to be in astronomical history because I made history in so many ways.